virtue and Christian perfection. 1. Should we be content with avoiding sin? No. We should also diligently endeavor to practice virtue and to attain the perfection suitable to our state of life. Quote, he that is just, let him be justified still, and he that is holy, let him be sanctified still. And quote, Apocalypse 22.11 1. Virtue 2. In what does Christian virtue consist? Christian virtue consists in the steady will and constant effort to do what is pleasing to God. 3. How do we attain Christian virtue? We attain Christian virtue, 1. By the grace of God, and 2. By the constant practice of good. 4. How many classes of virtue are there? There are two classes of virtue, theological and moral virtue. 5. Which are the theological virtues? The theological virtues are faith, hope, and charity. Mark the next is 6. What is faith? Faith is a divine virtue infused into our souls, by which we firmly believe is infallibly true whatever God has revealed and His Church teaches. Mark the next also is 7. What is hope? Hope is a divine virtue infused into our souls, by which we confidently expect from God whatever he has promised us through the merits of Jesus Christ. Mark of the next is 8. What is charity? Charity is a divine virtue infused into our souls by which we give ourselves with all our heart to God, to the end that by fulfilling his holy will we may please him and reach a perfect union with him. 9. How may we make acts of faith, hope, and charity? See pages. 131 and 132. 10. When are we obliged to make acts of faith, hope, and charity? 1. Often in life. 2. In grievous temptations against those virtues. 3. In danger of death. 11. Which of the four cardinal or principal virtues on which all the other moral virtues rest? The four cardinal virtues are 1. Prudence. 2. Justice. 3. Temperance. 4. Fortitude. Mark the next is 12. What is prudence? Prudence is a virtue which enables us not only easily to know and desire what is truly good, but also to apply the means most proper to put it in practice. Mark the next is 13. What is justice? Justice is a virtue which disposes us always to do what is right and to give every one his due. Mark the next also is 14. What is temperance? Temperance is a virtue which restrains those inclinations and desires which keep us from virtue and lead us to evil. Mark of the next is 15. What is fortitude? The fortitude is a virtue which enables us to bear any hardship or persecution rather than fail in our duty. 16. What virtues are especially opposed to the seven card capital sins? These seven. 1. Humility. 2. Liberality. 3. Chastity. 4. Meekness. 5. Temperance. 6. Benevolence. 7. Diligence. Mark the next is 17. What is humility? Humility is a virtue which teaches us to acknowledge our own weakness and sinfulness and to look upon all good as coming from God. Mark the next also is 18. What is liberality? Liberality is a virtue which inclines us to use our means for the relief of the poor or to contribute to other deserving objects. Next also is 19. What is chastity? Chastity is a virtue which subdues all impure inclinations and desires. Mark the next is 20. What is meekness? Meekness is a virtue which suppresses all desire of revenge and any motion of unjust anger and displeasure. Mark the next also is 21. What is benevolence, or brotherly love? Benevolence is a virtue by which we wish every one well, and share joy and sorrow with our neighbor. Mark the next as well as 22. What is diligence? Diligence is a virtue which enables us to perform all our duties with earnestness and care, and to use every opportunity for doing good. Application. Diligently seek to become more and more virtuous. Virtue is far more precious than wealth, beauty, or talents. Virtue ennobles man, renders him pleasing to God, affords true happiness and true honor, 
It is no doubt necessary for us to struggle with our corrupt nature and evil inclinations, but we can do all in God, who strengthens us. 2. Christian Perfection 1. In what does Christian perfection consist? Christian perfection consists in this, that free from all inordinate or excessive love of the world and of ourselves, we love God above everything, and everything in God. Mark the Nexus 2. Why should we strive to attain perfection? Because Christ, our Lord, says to all, Be you perfect as also your heavenly Father is perfect. And quote St. Matthew, verse 48, And quote, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with thy whole heart. And quote, Two, because the more holy our life is upon earth, the greater shall be our happiness in heaven. Three, which is the best way to perfection? The best way to perfection is the imitation of Jesus Christ, the teacher and model of holiness. 4. What means must every Christian use for attaining perfection? He must, 1. Love prayer, attentively hear the word of God, and often receive the holy sacraments. 2. He must perform his daily actions in a state of grace, and in a manner pleasing to God. 3. He must frequently think of the presence of God. 4. He must constantly overcome and deny himself, and to the best of his power avoid even venial sins. Mark the next is 5. How should we deny ourselves? We should refuse ourselves many things that are dear and agreeable to us, and patiently bear what is disagreeable to us. Quote, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. And quote St. Luke 9.23. 6. What particular means for attaining perfection has Jesus Christ recommended? The evangelical counsels, namely, 1. Voluntary poverty, 2. Perpetual chastity, 3. Entire obedience to a spiritual superior. Mark the Nexus 7. Who are obliged to, reserve, to observe the evangelical counsels? all religious, and all those who have bound themselves by vow to keep them. Whoever, after careful deliberation and fervent prayer, learns that God calls him to the religious state should promptly follow this vocation. Application. Strive earnestly to reach perfection in your state of life. If you remain in the world, do not live according to the spirit of the world, but according to the spirit and maxims of Jesus Christ, which are contained in the eight Beatitudes. See page 140.